All right guys, well welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please make sure to hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification. I'll let you guys know when there's new videos posted. Today I wanna to go over these two guns. I have the Stoger M3000 and the Beretta A300 Outlander. There's always a ton of debate online about which gun somebody should buy, and they always ask about the Stoger. So I wanna give my honest review after owning this gun for four and a half years and I used this gun last year, so it's, I've had it for a full year, a full season. And we'll go through some of the pros, the cons, what I like about each gun, what I don't like about them, and let's get into it. So this is the Stoger M3000. I bought this at Bass Pro. I think with my Bass Pro points, I ended up paying like 250 bucks for it. So it was a very cheap and affordable gun for me. I think without any discounts or anything, they're around $500. This gun is great for a beginner that's just getting into using a semi-automatic gun. Now with that being said, this gun does have some flaws, I believe. It is a gun that's used with stamped metal and that's what brings the price of it down from a Benelli or anything like that. Um, the parts are similar to a Benelli M2 and some of the replacement parts on this gun are from the Benelli M2. The parts that I've had to replace on it where the spring for the slide, there's a pin in here that grabs the shells and I had to replace that pin and the spring for that pin. It wasn't ejecting shells properly and when I looked at that pin, it was ground down from shooting and it maybe had three or 400 rounds through it so it didn't last very long but this new spring and pin that have been in there are about three years old and it didn't have any issues cycling until the gun itself started having different issues cycling. It started short cycling and I'm sure you could replace this spring and fix that problem. Um, I didn't look into it that much. I wanted to get away from this gun and it was mostly for cycling issues. I didn't know if it was gonna cycle all three shells, it rarely did. It would cycle two and sometimes, especially more recently, with two and three quarter, it will only shoot once. It will not cycle a second shell. With three inch, it will cycle about half the time and then I'll only get a second shot out of it. I don't know if that has anything to do with this being a worn down gun from me using it, but the Problems that I had were very early on in owning it. Now what I did like about this gun is it is very light. It does shoulder very well. And I like the pattern that came on it. It's a comfortable gun to shoot and the price point was right. So using this gun has been hit or miss for me. Um, I liked it when I first got it. I started to have issues with it. When I fixed it, it didn't last that long before I started having more issues. And so I really wanted to get away from this and go to something different. So that's why I ended up with the A300. The A300 I heard very minimal bad things about. And that was mostly from people that own different brands and they liked those. They had heard that it didn't shoulder right or it wasn't balanced very well. Um, that was really the only thing that I had heard about it was the balancing. But for me, it shoulders really well. I like it. Um, I powder coated it. It was supposed to be a full powder coat, but um, it didn't get completely done. So it's gray and black right now. I bought it all black, synthetic black. Um, so I think it cost me 650 for this gun. So when you compare the two and the quality that you get from a gun that only costs $150 more. Um, my suggestion personally is that this is a superior gun. Um, I think that it's a very superior gun to most guns out there. I've shot plenty of different guns. I'm not going to go into the different the differences between this and any other gun besides the Stoger. Um, I don't have enough experience to be doing that. This gun has been very reliable. I haven't had any issues with it. I cleaned it once and I didn't put it back together correctly. 
and that was the only time that I had an issue with it. And it has cycled in the harshest of the winter, the heat of the summer. It doesn't matter. Anything cycles through this. I've shot different shells through it. The majority of the shells that I shot last year through it were heavy metal long range twos and it performed flawlessly. I used the same choke that I was using in this. Um, I had a Pattern Master Anaconda when I first bought the Stoger and it patterned well and I shot a lot of birds with it when it would cycle. And then I replaced it with a Code Black Goose. And when I did that, I didn't really shoot that many rounds through the Code Black Goose with this gun. It seemed to shoot fine with it. I used that all, the, all year with this gun. Right now it has the stock modified choke in it and that was for upland hunting. Um, the stock modified in this shoots very well. I'm sure that the stock chokes in this besides the modified are very good. Um, this worked really well with the extended Code Black Goose. I use that for divers, for wood ducks, um, for teal, geese, everything. It worked great. Um, what I really like about this gun is it is light. It's just as light, if not lighter, than the Stoger, maybe only by a fraction of a couple grams or something. But I got the gun painted because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any issues getting it in water and rust and all that stuff and humidity. Uh, like right now you can already see that it's getting humid on the gun because it's really warm out here. This gun, very easy to clean. There is a little bit of an issue with getting the slide to go back in correctly. But once you, re once you figure that out, it's very easy to clean, strip it, do all of that. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, like I said. I've really enjoyed using it. It's a super reliable gun. The price point on it's great. I ended up with the three inch chamber on both of them because I don't shoot three and a half and I really don't care to. So I saved the money of going to the A400 Extreme because I didn't need the three and a half chamber. So if you're looking for a intermediate starter gun, I think it's a great gun for anybody that just is looking for a reliable gun, especially for waterfowl. I used it for upland, it worked really well. Um, my suggestion would be to go with the A300 without trying the Stoger. This gun's great for somebody who is just starting out, doesn't use their shotgun very much and is looking for an auto loader. This gun is cheap, it's made cheap, so there's a reason that you're getting what you're paying for. My suggestion would be to focus on getting something like the A300. I've really enjoyed the A300. It's a fantastic gun. I don't see myself buying a new gun anytime soon. I think that this is going to be around for a while. I know a lot of people that have the A300 and they've had it for a very long time and they would only upgrade to go to the A400. So with that being said, the Beretta A300 is definitely my choice between the two. The Stoger is cheap. The parts for it are cheap, and I think it's cheaply made for somebody who's looking for an entry level auto loader. Anybody that's looking for something a little more robust, better quality, should look into the A300. And that's all I have to say about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful for anybody that's looking for the, A the M3000 or the A300. These are the two guns that I have the most experience with as far as auto loaders go. And I would personally say, skip the M3000, go to the A300. You get your money's worth out of this and you can probably find it on sale. Maybe not right now, but like last year I got it on sale at Sportsman's Warehouse for 10% off. And it only brought me down to about 575 and it was a great deal. So thank you guys for tuning into this. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like it so it gets out to other people. Share it with your friends. Share it with anybody who might be looking at the M3000 or the A300. Make sure you guys check out the Too Many Hobbies podcast, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, my God up on that throne, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to boss me in. I'm Mayweather. It's on, yeah.